this is artist Andy Goldsworthy. He's a sculptor, a photographer, and an environmentalist. He's a British-born artist, but he lives and works in Scotland. And if you're wondering if he's still alive, he totally is, and I've been lucky enough to see some of his work in person. Here's something that Andy Goldsworthy has said. It's a quote from him. We often forget that we are nature. Nature is not something that is separate from us. So when you say we've lost our connection to nature, we've lost the connection to ourselves. But I don't think anyone out here on Vinyl Haven has lost the connection to nature. We live in a beautiful place and it's all around us. And today, well, for this week, I want everybody to use nature to make some art. Okay, so look at the pictures that you see here. This is all artwork done by Andy Goldsworthy. Aren't they cool? Do you notice that circles seem to be a very big part of the work he does? I kind of like that part. Um, okay, so let's look over to the side. If you look to the right, I have a couple questions for you. We're going to think about the art. What is the art made out of? Now, we just talked about that a little bit, but go ahead and take a close look. What is the art made out of? Does this artwork remind you of anything? I don't know. Have you seen something like this? Or do you maybe have something at home that this reminds you of? Or have you played around at the beach before and made something like this? How long do you think this art lasts in nature? Now that's an interesting question. I see art made out of leaves and ice, and I am wondering how long is that gonna stay there? Well, like I said before, this artist is also a photographer, not just a sculptor. He doesn't just make things with his hands. He makes things and then he takes pictures of them. So here's my question. Why do you think he makes the art and then takes a picture of it. All right, are you ready to make some art? situation we're finding ourselves in right now. I have always, always wanted to teach the same lesson to grades kindergarten all the way through 12th grade just to see what we would get. Um, and so I've, I'm even looping in pre-k on this. So I'm going to teach the same lesson to grades pre-k through 12 and I want you all to do the same exact thing and it'll be really, I think, cool just to see what the range is and what people's ideas were and it kind of can be a thing that we all do in this together sort of way even though we are all apart. So I came here to State Beach and I noticed there were no cars here so I felt free to bring my dogs and hang out and um, you know we want to make sure we're social distancing so I just came by myself and I'm gonna have some quiet times on the rocks to do some work in the style of Andy Goldsworthy. Okay so first things first I had to take a long look around the beach and I had to pick a place that I thought would be a good spot for me to work. And I'm probably gonna be here for about half an hour or 40 minutes. So I wanted to make sure that it was good. Oh, there's Seamus. Hi Seamus. Okay, so this is my work. I have rocks and shells and seaweed. And I think all of these materials are gonna make for really good art making. Okay, so I think I got my spot and I've set up my um, iPhone to do a little recording and here I go. I'm just going to get to work.
Okay, well there you have it. There's my little earth art. It's just a little thing I worked on and I hope you do the same thing. It was just fun and you could see me looking around for special things and here I'll give a close up. I really, at the very last minute, I thought, oh, I really want some white to make everything stand out. So I found all the little white things I could find, little shells and rocks and pieces of things. So there you have it, Andy Goldsworthy Earth Art. Have fun with it.